So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing file handling concepts in C. In the previous video, we have discussed append mode in C. Basically, we have discussed three modes, read, write and append mode. Now we are left with three more modes, R plus, W plus and A plus. These are special modes, right? So in this video, we will see what is R plus mode with the help of a proper program and I will show you practical also on my laptop, right? Now before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you guys are going to start for preparing gate 2023 and 2024 exam, then an academy is going to start new batches from 12th of January, as well as they have started a few batches from 5th of January for gate aspirants. In these batches, they are going to cover entire syllabus of CS and IT and this course will include preparation strategy, tips and tricks, practice questions, numericals along with the detailed explanation of the concepts. And you can get your doubt cleared in special doubt clearing sessions in the course. This would be paid subscription because you will get complete and structured courses. But you can use my code JKL10 to get 10% discount on your paid subscription. As well as for those who are appearing in GATE 2022 exam, they have started All India Mock Test Series in the month of January every Sunday and you can take these tests for free. So here you can complete your final revision with these full length mock tests. They are going to cover entire syllabus and these are curated by their best uh, educators. You will experience here actual exam like uh, sitting and you will also get all India ranking. So you can see where you are standing among you know, all the learners from all over India. And after every test, you will get detailed video solutions. So you can identify your weak areas and you can improve according to that. And an academy is also providing you a great offer in which you just subscribe to 12 months of the Unacademy GATE and ESC Plus and you will get extra 2 months on it just to help you in your GATE and ESC exams. So you will have to pay for 12 months and you will get extra 2 months. The price details you can see on my screen. And you can use my code JKL10 to get 10% discount on Unacademy Plus subscription. So all the relevant links and the details I will put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let's see what is R plus mode. I hope you remember what is R mode. Read mode means you are going to open the file in read mode only. You can read the content of that file, right? If file don't exist, it, is, it will give error, means it will uh, return null only, right? It is not going to create a new file like in W mode. In W mode, this is write mode. Here, if file don't exist, it will create a new file and it will open this file. But in R mode, if file already exists, it will open the file for reading only. You cannot write into that file. But if file don't exist, it will give error. It is not going to create a new file, right? Now, what is R plus mode? This for both reading and writing. It will open the file for both reading and writing. You can read as well as you can write. But main purpose of R plus mode is reading, right? Here, if file exists, okay, it will open the file both for reading and writing. But if file don't exist, it is not going to create a new file. Right? This you need to take care. So now let's say uh, take a one example. I have a file suppose abc.txt in my hard disk. I want to read the content of this file. Right? Now, first of all, obviously you will create a file pointer, and and starting I'm going to initialize with it with null. So using f open function, we will open the file. Just provide the name of the file abc.txt, and the mode is r plus in double quotes, right? Now you have to check if because of something f open is not going to no f open is not able to open this file it will return null. So if fp is equal to is equal to null means in printf you can simply print error or anything you can print and you can simply exit from here only. So now if you if suppose in my file I have this content hi this is the content I have in my file so if you will read this so now this file has been opened you can read this and you can write also main purpose is to read right now you can read how you can read the fu uh, the function i have already told you how you can read this file using the function f get s f get c right f get s means complete string you can read just provide what string in which you will you will store and the string length here n and here just provide the file pointer f get c means it will read only a single character by character right we have discussed both these functions in the previous videos right how you can read something from a file in that video so you can check out that video now if you will write something something to this file where you can write means see in append mode you can append at the last if you will open the file in write mode means the previous content would be erased and simply you can write from here only 
but if you will open the file in read mode so r plus mode then where you can write this is very important about this mode right r plus mode this point makes this mode special you can write anywhere from starting from any in middle or at the end just you have to set your file pointer the logic you have to write and you can write down anywhere if you will open the file in r plus mode means basically if there is something in your file and you want to modify <clears throat> you don't want to add a new content right you don't want to append but you want to modify the already existed content from that file right suppose few lines are there 10 lines and two or three lines you want to modify in that case open the file in r plus mode you can modify the file using this r plus mode only no other mode will help you to modify the file right so for modifying the file just open the file in r plus mode so this is very special right so just move your file pointer according to that and you can modify right now simply suppose this is a my file and i want to uh, put something here a character i want to put f put c and here is the character z in which file just provide the file pointer and that's it so where this z would be written here at the place of h in the starting cursor would be here only so h would not be there and here you can add z the remaining content would be same if suppose i want to add f put again f put s a string like uh, i want to add jenny and fp and after that f close so first the file was high this is awesome so first of all this at the place of this z then jenny so here we have j e double n and y and remaining content would be same so this is what you have modified the this content if you want to modify the content from here just move the file pointer according to that you just have to specify the logic that also we'll discuss with the help of program right in a separate video but you can modify your content right if you want to add in the last that also you can do but by default if you write this thing this would be added from here only or this content would be you know uh, updated or modified right if you want to read simply you can read with these uh, functions right the reading logic i have already discussed i hope you can write that logic so the main point about r plus mode is it will open the file for both reading and writing if file don't exist it will not create a new file just give error or uh, you know return the null pointer right and it is used to modify the content of your file right you can move the file pointer where you want to modify which content you want to modify that's it now let me show you practical so now let me create a new file here we'll write down r plus mode dot c and i'm just going to copy the previous because this content would be same till this right we have created a file pointer and suppose you don't want this so just comment it out f open abc.txt just change the mode not a mode we are going to open the file into r plus mode if fp is null just print error and exit now if fp is not null in that case what will happen see uh, let me just first of all write down this thing f close and that's it so abc.txt file suppose i am writing here ab.txt so this file is not there in my pc only the file is abc.txt in that directory right so if this is not the file then what will be the case see let me just run this and show you what output you will get see it is printing error because there is no such file so it will return uh, null f open is not going to open the ab dot text file because it's, it don't it doesn't exist so it will return null and if null just print error right but here i am writing abc dot txt right and in abc dot txt i have suppose the content is uh, this is awesome right now let me just open this file and see what output you will get see if you will open the file okay fine it will open the file but nothing would be there it means no output because you are not uh, 
you know reading something from the file so it is not giving it will not give you error like it will not print any error this message right but it will not show you any output so here and the file content would be same this is awesome so now if you want to add something if you want to write suppose i am writing here f put s and i am writing gen f we just provide the file pointer that's it now let me run this and show you the file it will not show on the screen anything it has successfully run but in the file now you will get jenny and is awesome so this 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 has been updated by this jenny so the cursor would be at the starting at the first byte or the first character right and whatever you will write that would be written from the starting of the file only right and remaining content would be same so jenny is awesome right now suppose uh, one more thing f put c i want to add a character also like uh, z sorry character would be in single quotes right uh, z kya kar rahi hu yaar main fp now let me just run this and show you now see in the file we have jenny then z i has been replaced by z and s and then awesome right so i hope you got what is r plus mode now whenever wherever you want to modify the content if suppose you have a lengthy file 5 or 10 lines or many lines and specific line you want to modify just move the cursor just move the file pointer to that uh, you know place and modify that line only right so if you want to modify the already existed content already existed content then you will open the file in r plus mode then it will be beneficial right otherwise reading and writing both w plus can also do reading and writing a plus can also do reading and appending writing right but that is the difference only this mode will modify if you want to modify you are supposed to open the file in r plus mode only right and if you want to read the content whatever the content in the file just put the logic of reading the file that i have already discussed in my previous videos so you can check out that and you can uh, put that content so that is assignment for you guys right you will read also and you will write also something right and you will open the file in r plus mode fine so now i guess that's it for this video so i hope you got this r plus mode in the next video we'll see w plus mode and also we'll uh, see the difference between r plus and w plus mode right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care